Good morning. This is Friday, April 14th, and today's devotion is Inner Invincibility. This is Matthew 11. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. Whom the Lord loves, he chastens, as Hebrews 12. How petty our complaining is. Our Lord begins to bring us to the point where we can have fellowship with him, only to hear us moan and groan, saying, Oh, Lord, just let me be like other people. Don't let me carry this burden. Jesus is asking us to get beside him and take one end of the yoke. We talked yesterday about putting one end on God's shoulders. Now he's asking us to pick up the end that belongs to us so that we can pull together. <clears throat> That's why Jesus says to us, My yoke is easy and my burden is light. Are you closely identified with the Lord Jesus like this? If so, you will thank God when you feel the pressure of his hand upon you. To those who have no might, he increases strength. That's why you feel that hand. God comes and takes us out of our emotionalism, and then our complaining turns into a hymn of praise because we're in fellowship with him through that burden. The only way to know the strength of God is to take the yoke of Jesus upon us and learn from him. Key, learn from him. The joy of the Lord is our strength. That's Nehemiah 8. Where do the saints get their joy? If we do not know some Christians well, we might think from just observing them that they have no burdens at all to bear. But we must lift the veil from our eyes. The fact that peace and light and joy of God is in them is proof that there is a burden there as well. The burden that God places on us squeezes the grapes in our lives and produces the wine. But most of us see only the wine and not the burden. We don't see the squeezing in their life. All we, all we see is, is the wine that's produced. That's what he's saying, Oswald's saying. Just because they don't seem like they have burdens or they have been squeezed, all we see is the wine. Understand that it's there because they have indeed had burdens. No power on earth or in hell can conquer the spirit of God living within the human spirit. It creates the inner invincibility. If your life is producing only wine, W-H-I-N-E, whining, instead of wine, W-I-N-E, then ruthlessly kick out the whining from your life. Stop whining. It is, a, it is definitely a crime for a Christian to be weak when God's strength is within us. <clears throat> he challenged us in the first part of this devotion is to learn from Jesus. And the question I have is, how do we learn from Jesus? Well, the first answer is his word. So I have to ask, how much are we looking into the word of God? If we haven't grown, and if we're doing a lot of whining, I have to ask, how much reading of God's word do we take in in the run of a week? Let's pray. Father, I thank you for your spirit coming into us and uh, causing a desire to read your word and learn from your son. I pray today, Lord, that we would indeed learn about Jesus Christ. And then as the squeezing would take place of the spiritual grapes in our lives, it would produce a wine that others could see. Well, let us surrender whatever it is we might be whining about and seek to learn about your son. We ask these things in Christ's name. Amen. God bless. I'll see you tomorrow.